Through soil analysis, we can help certified crop advisors and growers develop a more scientifically sound fertilizer program. So taking the time to soil sample and get things tested is really going to help improve your profitability. In order to get the best results from soil testing and make good decisions, you need to pay attention to these three things. Essentially, all the nutrients vary with depth. So what is the best sampling depth? Well, it's the depth that best represents the amount of nutrient available for the plant. Normally, for most conditions in the corn belt, that's about six inches. Some states recommend a six inch sample, some states recommend an eight inch sample. Just be consistent about depth. If you're collecting six inch samples, always collect a six inch sample. The nutrient concentration in soils vary over time. So we should standardize the time that the soil samples is taken. And also sampling frequently enough, such that soil samples are taken every four years. Secondly, there is large spatial variability of soil test results. So we need to take many cores to made up composite soil samples that represent the area. We can miss a lot of variability that would occur in the soil test values. So if you're doing grid sampling, we would typically suggest a one to two acre grid sample would be most appropriate. Make sure you thoroughly mix the cores that represent the area when you're generating that composite. You don't want any one core to bias or skew the results. If the soil sample that has been analyzed does not represent the field, it doesn't matter how good the test it is, it will be useless. Now, another component to getting the right data with your soil testing is to use a qualified lab. There's actually a lot more to soil testing than I think a lot of people think. First, we dry the sample, then we have to grind it to a fine powder to about two millimeters in size. We'll mix that sample with an extracting solution. We shake it for about five minutes, then we actually filter out the soil, and what we're left is a test tube that's full of a liquid that has all of the plant available nutrients in it. And also when you're looking at determining how much nutrients to apply, to use information and data collected from your state or your region. Make sure it's, it's locally important. And instead looking at the trends over time, you know, between yields, you know, and soil test results, they will be able to do a much better management. So by doing a good job and getting a grower to believe in the process of soil testing, we're happy because we get a good repeat customer and the grower, which is more important, is ultimately happy because they're making more money. It means that they can make better decisions to result in a profit from their investments and improve their bottom line. That's what it is.